Yeah. Not everybody did every season of Roast Battle. I don't know if anyone else did. Maybe wow. one person? Might have been the... Um, Whoa. Might have been the only. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, there goes the ego. Let's through the roof. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Cool. What's the background process of like every season it's it's going and you're like, I want to I want to be back there. I want to do it again. I did uh, Montreal New Faces. And part of the deal with nice. New Faces, they try to give you, you know, JFL is a festival. It's like a month long and there are literally 50 shows a day. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it, it is, is incomprehensibly big. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of those shows aren't that hugely attended. A lot of them are noon or podcasts or, yeah. and, and some of them are bigger and some of them are big galas and it's 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 a yeah. showcase or it's a big headline or Russell Peters is doing his hour this night. Yeah. Or Trevor Noah's hosting a gala or a bunch of or there's the dirty show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um New Faces is but a blip. But but one show, maybe two shows That's with like three hundred people in a three hundred seat theater. Awful crowd, awful show. Um <laughs> I did it and Thanks. and like all twenty new faces, they try to get you one other spot on the festival. That's nice. But they didn't really have that many spots to give out. So they came to me and the late Jack Knight and said, hey, oh, would wow. you guys like to do Roast Battle? And we realized what the, the subtext was, instead of a show. Uh, yeah. And I was like, God damn it. Yeah, I don't say no to anything. Yeah. I don't want to look like a bitch. I had done one Roast Battle in my life, and I I, I bombed real bad. Yeah. I'd done it against Sean Lear, so that was like my first real one. Wow. Uh, I went up against Jack, and we both wrote our jokes together, and we were both trying to lose, and he... Uh, one at losing, so I had to move on. <laughs> it was a sixteen bracket, and I didn't want oh, to do the next no. night. It was a whole bracket. It was a of bracket battles? every night, oh, one no. after the other. So you had one day to prepare, and I didn't even prepare for the next day. I was like, I'm just gonna not show up. Fuck that. Was this oh, still no. in Montreal? This, this was, was in happened? Montreal. This was, and then what was happening was it was the last show. It was like the only thing at like it was like 12, 12 o'clock midnight show. That's no other shows were on. Yeah. yeah. Except no other shows were on. Oh. And comics love watching roast battles, sure. and so yeah. do agents. And s- by the end of it, so did everyone. People couldn't get in. People's agents couldn't get into the show. It was the hottest show of the whole festival. Oh, it no. It was five nights in a row. It was explosive. There was no roast battle on TV yet. People didn't even know what this was. Sure. This is a new concept, oh, wow. 2015. Uh, I end up doing the second night. Goes pretty well. I do the third night, best night of my life to this day. Wow. Uh, I do the last night, move on to the final. Now I'm just final two, me and Jimmy Carr. He clobbers me. Oh, but, wow. Uh, I got all the way Jimmy to the end. Carr, you know, it's, it's, it's Jimmy like, Carr, though. It's Jimmy Carr. It's like, you know. Yeah, I yeah. should have, but I had underdog advantage, which is huge yeah, in a roast battle. That is so big. That's the thing of like, who yeah. are you going to root for when you see me and Jimmy walk on stage? Me at 28. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. True. You're going to root for me, yeah. so I really blew it. Yeah. Like okay. it was, it was mine to win, and he just, he just did a lot better. Yeah. Have you ever wanted a rematch with him? No, he's so good. <laughs> okay. What if we told you we had Jimmy Carr here <laughs> tonight? Jimmy, come out. <laughs> but that was the that was one of the biggest nights of events of my career because it put me on the radar of everyone in comedy. Yeah. Of every huge. industry, of every and comedian. And a couple days earlier, you didn't really? want to do wow. it. And a couple days earlier, I was trying to quit. <laughs> yeah. I was going to not show up for the battle, and Jeff Ross found me at 5 p.m. in the lobby and said, you got to do it, man. We love You got that... that that pretty face and that dirty mouth. We gotta have it back. <laughs> yeah, that what a face and that you. dirty mouth. You said that the third. It was the best night of your life. Was yes. it because of the amount of industry that saw you and it's yeah. like things were clicking? Yeah, career-wise? I was. I was. Uh, I'm sorry to sound arrogant, but I was Go like the it. bell of the ball. Like mm-hmm. every every party I went to, everything I did, oh, yeah. I was the comment. Like I remember at one point I was talking to someone and I hear, "Hey, hey, hey." And I see Chris D'Elia, a guy who barely knows me, leaning over handrails, like all, in a physically embarrassing oh, wow. position, yeah, yeah. reaching out like the Sistine Chapel to fist bump. Because you're the cool guy in town. Because because yeah. yeah. I think the comics really that's so sad. Thought it was it was fun to watch. You had your moment. You yeah, your and moment. I was a complete unknown, so it was cool to see someone you've not yeah, ever yeah, seen yeah. before telling mm-hmm. some some solid burns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who was yeah. the, who did who did you beat that night? <laughs> K. Trevor Wilson from that Canadian show. Mm. What's that show? Uh, Letter Kenny. Yes, nice. great comedian. Nice. Great roast battle. Great. So that was how I entered That's into nice. it. And that was why I wonder what their side of the story is. <laughs> they're not a roast battle. <laughs> Worst night of my fucking life. <laughs> Chris D'Elia puts his arm over me <laughs> in an embarrassing position. No deodorant. <laughs> the high five this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. You became what's a super his, villain in many people's eyes. That night. Yeah. So funny. Um, and now and I'm then, doing this show. People can't remember the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And then they brought me because of that. That that was when the, the success of that show at that festival was like. It was obvious Jeff was getting a show. Yeah, it was, he had show, he had showcased the property, 
Uh, better than anyone could have hoped. Good for and a them. year later, they had the show and they invited me in. I lost in the first round. Ooh. And I think I think they just remembered the 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 my yeah. Montreal days and they brought me back and I I went to the finals in the second nice. season. Yeah, the second was, season. That was the best. That was the one that is like still really fun you had a great to run run back there. on people. And that people famous. Talk about the underdog advantage. Yeah. Uh, on that last was battle. it Frank? Uh, yeah. Castillo, right? What's his last name? Castillo. 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 I was gonna say it, but I was like, my, I was afraid. <laughs> it was gonna be racist no matter what. It was gonna be racist no matter what. He did, you know, flipping around. I mean, that that was the the underdog advantage. He did the great job of of what you have done both seasons. He did, he had some line early on where he like established himself as the underdog and really like flipped the dynamic yep. of it, which was yeah. brilliant of his end. Yeah, really. They also smart. had those video packages playing, which was was they came to my apartment and they were just like just like a random producer. They put the show together in like a week. You think yeah. like is it staged? I'm like, I wish they had yeah. that organization. <laughs> really? I wish it's That's just so funny. It's just really quick. The last episode was live. Whoa, yeah. wow. It was, on, it was live TV. It filmed straight to television. Oh, oh really? Wow. I didn't know that. Was it no live, other was show? Was it live feed? Like live on Live feed, air? not live to tape. Live. For but Roast with Battle? Rose, but with Roast Battle with jokes. Ro not just Roast Battle. <laughs> they had two competitions, and the winner of those two went head to head. So I had to write three, oh, three no. different battles. Wow. Oh, my wow. God. So the second battle against Frank was like, I w it was either him or Joe. Uh, oh, I'm no sorry, wonder. Fifi. Uh, yeah, at, the, yeah. at the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And. Um, that. So did you have to write for like six potential like? I had to write for three potential battles. Oh, wow, that's so and that's you so nerve wracking. But I had no more than a night. I had a couple so. days, and they actually oh, gave okay. us money to it. Like I, they gave us like fifteen hundred dollars, and I paid for it. My friends, I'm like write as many jokes as you can about these three people. Okay. <laughs> that's very yeah. nice. Yeah. That's yeah. very nice. Yeah. That's very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's legit. Okay, that makes that makes it feel a little bit better. Yeah. Then okay, I was going to say, is there a process though. like where you get to them and you're like, I don't think I have enough. And then they go to you like, all right, here, you can talk to this person. Do they give you a can I talk some major shit? Sure. Sorry, Frank. Please. We don't care. I wrote way more jokes about the other person. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, I thought Fifi was going to be Frank. And then when Frank <laughs> so went, I'm like, okay, got to look at what so I wrote down funny. for that. I, I just, I, I so overprepare because in, in your mind, you bet on one person. Sure. I'm sorry, Frank. I clearly, you were, <laughs> where, I don't know where the cameras are. I clearly, you were in the right. I was, I was wrong. And That's you, so and then you, you showed me up too. So. It's so funny because when you watch the battle back, so I watched it today mm -hmm. it's like what is he because you're the battle before so i don't remember the battle before but you did so much better leading up to it in the second season and then you get to the last one it's like this just feels like like much easier roasts <laughs> yeah like yeah. much service level because it was all like yeah. hispanic or was like ah, ah yeah ah. he was this racist white guy but, i was like mexican yeah. whatever yeah yeah but yeah. It was, another person i'd be like whatever but i know like your writing style seems to be like more like cerebral like smarter yeah. or clever i felt like you got a little dumb on the last one three dare yeah. i say it well dare i say it well it's also one of those things with roast battle sometimes the audience just they choose a winner first Instantly. joke yeah that's sometimes not even the round that's and a then, great point yeah you if can you do reset. a multi-round they choose a winner the first round and then this the other person will win the second round. Sure, That's barring an act of God, they want to. They <laughs> even within the dynamics <laughs> of one round. Once you're winning, you're no longer the under. Once you're losing, you're the underdog sure. again. Yeah. And if you take a reset with judges, then because that's always how it goes. The first yeah. two rounds go one, then the other, and then there's a third round. Sure. Yeah. That's sure. a good point. And the, the second round, no matter what, it almost always goes. To the yeah. Third. Are you feeling a little roasted out? From from all that, or have you kind of come back around a bit? Like, you know, this is actually awesome. You I, know, mm, it's okay to be burnt out on roast. I'm a little burnt out. I saw. Uh, I did want. You know, that's not fair. I did it in uh, Austin with um, with Moses, Ooh, uh, like Brian? a week or two ago. Yeah, or, uh, yeah, did, maybe maybe the last wait, month. Did you judge it or did you? I judged it. Oh, nice. And every battle, every joke made me happy. And oh, I, I talked to every contestant afterwards. Nice. I'm like, you renewed my love for this. <laughs> oh, wow. It well, was just wonderful. They liked each other. They weren't trying to win. That's the biggest thing. Stop yes. trying to win. We're so bad sure. here, too. Oh, yeah. my God. If you're actually trying to win. <laughs> there are so, so many people like producing it and putting it together. There's so many people like, well, I'll do it. And then you tell them like who we want to pair them up with that they're friends with. Mm -hmm. And they'll be, and you guys know this, too. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, no. Mm -hmm. And they'll wait. And they'll, then they'll try and pitch you someone. And it's like, oh, you're picking someone who's like a year into comedy. And you're eight or ten years in a comedy, and you just want you want to beat somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so it was like completely yep. obvious. Yeah, that's interesting. That's no yeah. fun for us. And it, and it's no fun for us because we have to tell that new comic who thinks maybe they're gonna get in. Yeah. yeah like like oh no, you know like we can't we kind of want to do it with people that know each other and sure. are friends and really I mean I think most people really only care when we do that we do a tournament so there is a sense of like you want a prize and you want to get the mm -hmm. most out of it. Yeah. But I try to tell people like really if you if you could lose every time but if you come you can you have lose a good time. anytime anyone mm -hmm. can lose to anyone at a roast battle. Yes. Yeah. That's um, yes. As long as you put on a good show. I don't. Like battling new comics because I don't want to lose to a new comic. 
Yeah. And it's yeah. not like there's no level of confidence that could because I did a I did a string of them in New York and I think I lost every single battle I did. Wow. Yeah, I was going I was about to ask yeah. you how did the battle between you and Derek Humphreys come about because you know you did all this stuff on on Comedy Central. Yeah. And though I I recently watched you versus Derek. Derek's a funny guy. Yeah. Very funny kind of mismatch. Yeah. Kind of, kind of battle. Um, um, were you just looking to get back into that game or was it like you were you're close with Derek? How did that go? Uh, I Pontillo set it up. Mm, yeah, gotcha. and oh, James. I didn't. I did not. I don't think I asked for Derek, but when they said Derek, I'm like, yeah, he's very funny. I like yeah. his comedy. Sure. He's he's really easy to battle. He's, a writer. he's oh, really yeah. easy to write for. Sorry, oh yeah, not, not big easy. target, more <laughs> ways than one. Big yeah. target. Yep. Uh, I did. I think fat I guy? battled fat guy? Big old James. Big old, big old, big old fat guy. Big old JP funny McDade. Guy. I b battled Pontillo. I battled uh, Eric. Oh, is the JP Bergstrom. battle online? I don't know. Oh, JP is very funny as I well. Think they all beat me. Oh really? I'm yeah. sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> it doesn't feel awesome, but yeah, yeah, that was yeah. why I was like, it's the also ego. it's fun to lose to like it's losing to JP. I'm like, it's fucking. That's you, like you a kind great of like, comment. You, sure. you want to roast someone that's like also like uh, like similar level experience, or like mm. similar level like because yeah. then, then it feels nice regardless. Yes. Yeah. And if they're a new comic, then they have that underdog advantage. Exactly. Exactly. Like a yeah. two-year comic, yeah, where they read off my credits and they bring that next person on stage, where they they, they want me to lose. That's and they're like, they've done the Laugh Factory once. And yeah. Like, what? What was that? Like? They did Chocolate the Sundays. Newport Comedy Festival. <laughs> <laughs> the Newport like, Cigarette Comedy Festival, which is <laughs> kind of you know. Yeah.